Quantum computing is a revolutionary technology that's really totally different from the traditional computing devices we all use every day. You know, traditional computers are built with computer chips, silicon computer chips, and they operate on binary data, bits and bytes, or ones and zeros. A quantum computer uses quantum mechanics to operate on data encoded in qubits. And it's those quantum interactions inside a quantum computer that allow that computer to solve problems incredibly quickly, really exponentially faster than any traditional computer can do today. Maybe before we talk about the threat, we should acknowledge the opportunity. Um, it's believe that quantum computers are going to be um, incredible tools for research in fields like medicine and material science and data science. So I have no doubt that quantum computers will advance fields like that um, incredibly quickly. Um, but what we do know is that quantum computers will be able to break the complex mathematical structure that's underneath uh, today's public key technology. And what that really means is we're going to have to transition to what are called quantum safe or post-quantum cryptographic algorithms. And it's that public key cryptography technology that allows organizations to keep data confidential or secure for a long period of time, encryption, or to be able to validate the integrity of that data, digital signature. RSA is a bit of a Swiss Army knife. It's fast. Keys are relatively small. It's easy to implement. What we know about quantum safe public key cryptography, though, is it's a lot more complex. There are um, trade-offs to be made between speed and size and complexity that will make the transition from traditional public key cryptography to quantum safe public key cryptography difficult. So predicting timeline is difficult. That's calls for predicting the future. But um, when you poll the leading researchers, quantum physicists and quantum computing researchers, they talk about a timeline that's anywhere from five years to 20 years away. And as soon as you get to that sort of 10 year, a decade away, you start to get into a timeline where there's pretty broad agreement that quantum computers will develop to the point where they're a threat to today's um, public key security infrastructure. And when you think about a time scale of 10 years, many organizations have data that needs to be secure for at least that long. You think about governments and businesses and trade secrets and financial data. That has lifetime that's measured in years and decades. Um, so we have to act now uh, and we have to start thinking about that transition to quantum safe PKI technology. Well, we're all following developments from the National Institute for Standards and Technology, NIST. Uh, a few years ago now, they kicked off a competition to define and standardize quantum safe or post-quantum cryptographic algorithms. We're approaching some key milestones from that competition. We expect in the next year or two to see um, the official definition of quantum safe algorithms, and that's an important first step. At Entrust, we're really working a level up from that. We're helping uh, and working with the ITF to define um, the cryptographic messages and protocols required to operate with uh, quantum safe cryptographic algorithms. We're also talking about dual mode or hybrid cryptographic systems. And what that really means is that uh, we'll, we'll be able to apply quantum safe crypto as well as traditional uh, PKI technology like RSA and elliptic curve at the same time. And that's going to help uh, technology systems with uh, transition. We'll always have legacy systems and new systems in an environment, and that hybrid mode allows for a smoother transition. It also accounts for some of the security concerns we have. Um, if you think about the history of cryptographic algorithms, it really does take years of analysis and study before you truly believe a cryptographic algorithm is secure. And we're in that um, phase right now with quantum safe crypto. Well, the most important thing is a sense of urgency. Our organizations need to start acting and planning now. We know from previous cryptographic transitions, like from SHA-1 to SHA-2, or from uh, RSA to elliptic curve, that this process takes time and, and takes planning. And it, it's important to understand that this transition we will go through from traditional public key crypto to quantum safe crypto is even more complex and more difficult than those uh, previous transition. And so it's, it is important that organizations start developing their quantum safe strategy now. An organization can start by inventorying their data, thinking about where in their organization there's high value data that needs to be secure for a long period of time in the order of years. The next step 
would be looking at your systems and inventorying your cryptographic assets. Where in your organization do you have keys and secrets and certificates? What algorithms are being used? You know, what software systems are, are touching or, or implementing those security um, technologies? Then we need to be going and working with our security vendors. Um, security vendors need to have post-quantum in their roadmaps. Uh, and you should be asking our security vendors about their quantum safe roadmap. Um, many vendors today are going to be able to provide um, integration or test systems that incorporate quantum safe crypto. Uh, and so organizations can start to build out their plans, can start to do interoperability and backwards compatibility testing in their, uh, in their environments. That the threat from quantum computers to today's public key crypto systems is real. Experts uh, broadly agree that quantum computers will um, develop to the point where they can break today's public key crypto systems. Um, organizations need to start a plan today and need to begin to implement and work with their security vendors and asking them about crypto agility and about their quantum safe or post-quantum roadmaps so they can begin to test and uh, implement quantum safe security technology in their organizations.